What's happening there guys and welcome back to NBA Reloaded. There are many NBA players that go on to do great things after retiring, but that wasn't the case for Javaris Crittenton. Before we get started, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos going forward. Number 8. Early Years Javaris Crittenton was one of the brightest stars in the world and he was like that from the very beginning. He was born in 1987 in Atlanta, Georgia. After growing up in a place like that, he excelled at everything from playing basketball to his academics. There aren't many players out there that could accomplish both those things as well as he could. He was a straight A student out of school and in addition to that, he was also the class president. It seemed like his future was made from the very beginning, but it all went wrong in the most unbelievable of ways just a few years later. But let's stick to talking about his early days for now. After a few more great performances from his side, he got the McDonald's All-American Award. He graduated in 2006 with a scholarship as well. This all should tell you just how brilliant of a student and player he was in all aspects. Pressure. Now the next couple of times, he's not that close to you and your operational zone's a little bit. Number 7. Joining the Lakers after making his mark on the people at his school and graduating from there, the obvious step for him was to play in the NBA. Since there were so many great teams that were vying for him, he had his pick of where to go and, as you may be aware, he got a $2.6 million contract from the Los Angeles Lakers. This might seem like a small amount, but if you consider all the externalities, this was huge back then. For one thing, this was back in the early 2000s so this amount of money was still a large amount at the time. The second thing that one should consider about all this is the fact that he was still 19 years old at the time. If you consider this, spending that much money on him was like taking a huge risk on a youngster. He was selected as the first round pick by the Lakers and he began to impress them from the very beginning. But after a few years of being a great player, one small mistake led him to the life that he has now. So let's look into what that mistake was. And I was just excited, you know, to be a Laker. You can't even walk in the building, you're stormed by fan. <laughs> Number 6. Meeting Dollar. Imagine you're a 19-year-old boy who just got a $2.6 million deal from the Lakers. What's the first thing that someone in such a situation would do? Go out and celebrate, of course. As such, he went to a club to spend some of the cash that he had just gotten his hands on, and that's where he happened upon a rapper that went by the name Dollar. He was enjoying the club as well, and he was accompanied by a lot of beautiful women. Anyone at that age that Javars was at would have been enticed by all of that, which is why he decided to go and talk to the rapper. This was the first major mistake that Javars Crittenton would make in his life, and unbeknownst to him, this is where his life started to go sideways. Number 5. Joining a Gang Right now you might be thinking that why would going up to meet a rapper turn out to be such a bad idea? Well, the answer to that lies in the fact that Dalla was not just a rapper, but also a member of a gang. The gang was called the Mansfield Gangster Crips, and it was one of the most infamous gangs in the entire area. Soon after meeting Dalla, Javaris found himself completely immersed in the activities of the gang, which eventually led to his downfall. Number 4. Losing His Footing As you can imagine, joining a gang resulted in Javaris losing all the abilities he had in the court. Since he didn't have time to practice his skills, he found himself faltering in his games. The team he was a part of saw all this and realized his diminishing ability. This is why he was sold off from the Lakers to the Grizzlies. But even after changing teams, he didn't find his footing again and thus he was again transferred to the Wizards. All this happened in a span of just two seasons and things didn't get better from there. While he was on a private flight with his teammate Gilbert Arenas, he got into a fight with him after he lost a bunch of money while gambling in a card game. Since he was still at a young age, he couldn't control his emotions all that well. This led to him storming up to Gilbert a few days later while he was in the Wizards Arena and he had brought with him a gun. Javaris then proceeded to pull the gun out in front of Gilbert and threatened him to return his money or he would rob him. Thankfully, the situation was de-escalated and nobody got harmed during all of this but it did lead to bad things happening for Javaris. A big headline, Gilbert Arenas pulled a gun on a teammate. That's what the media thing was about. Right. So... Number three, charged with crime. 
pulling a gun on someone was most certainly going to lead to major repercussions for Javaris, and that's exactly what happened to him. He was charged with misdemeanor possession of a firearm and was put on a one-year probation period. All this negative press was bound to have consequences on his career as well, and thus, his contract with the Wizards was terminated. This meant that he was left without any friends in the NBA, and he didn't have a job anymore. So, as any other young man would do in that situation, he returned to the gang. Thank you, David. Number 2. Trying to make a comeback Soon after he returned to the gang, many of its members were starting to be put in jail for their crimes, while others like Dalla were being put in coffins. This led Javaris to take a hard look at his life and see what he had been doing wrong. After pondering for a bit, he decided to try and make a comeback in the NBA. He tried to get into the Bobcat team, but even failed to do that. This was all happening in 2011, which meant that he, as a 23-year-old, had nowhere to turn and no place to call home. All this led to the final straw that broke the camel's back. Be required to have his family. Number 1. Final Straw After he was already down on his luck, one day he got robbed of all of his belongings. This included his $25,000 chain, his phone, and some of the cash he had in his wallet. This event completely broke him apart, and since he had recognized the person who robbed him, he swore to take his revenge on him, so he set out to do exactly that. The person that had robbed him was from a rival gang, which is why Javaris knew where he could be located. It was late at night when he was out on the hunt for this guy, but he spotted him nonetheless. Javaris Crittenton then proceeded to take out his gun and fire a few shots at the guy. These bullets ended up missing him, but did in fact hit an innocent woman. After sustaining multiple injuries, this woman passed away in a hospital. After the police began investigating, it became clear it was Javaris who was the culprit as people on the street had recognized him. After a lengthy few years of court proceedings, he pled guilty in 2015 and was sentenced to 23 years in prison. To this day, he is still residing in Calhoun State Prison, Georgia. So these were some of the details of how this once promising young NBA player eventually became a killer and ruined his own career. It seemed like he did have a bright start to it all, but mistake after mistake led him to where he is now. Let us know your thoughts about all of this in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, do let us know by smashing that like button, and if you wish to be notified of more exciting NBA content in the future, then all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon. And until next time, take care and goodbye.